All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to digitize this pretty popular design that's uh, floating around right before Halloween. It's going to be this ghost walking a dog. So we're going to go ahead and insert our artwork. Um, let's see, ghost dog. Let's go ahead and throw this ghost dog on here. All right, uh, pretty bad quality. Let's go ahead and see how big it is. Um, let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Um, it's going to be about 3.5 inches wide. All right. And then, uh, it's pretty much line work and, uh, white stitching on the inside. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to digitize, digitize close shape. All right. And then let's just go ahead. It's going to be pretty much a full tatami on the inside for both of these objects. So we can pretty much, uh, uh, group it together. So I'm going to start with the big ghost I'm going to create this curve and then just kind of follow it up um, I'm not really doing too many curves uh, Until we get to the head so right click and then left click to finish up that uh, Right click left click and then just keep going around Right click left click and then again, just keep going around doing those curves. Since it is a closed shape, just hit enter and it'll finish it up. I do this every time. Let's go ahead and hit O to select our last object. Let's go ahead and make that that fill stitch that we are talking about. We got our little tatami. We're gonna see how that ends up working out. So I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go ahead and hide it for now. Um, actually, let's go ahead and unhide it. So right here, I think I missed his hand. So hit H and then we can go ahead and create a new node to go ahead and fix it instead of redoing it. So you can take this node, you can slide it up and then just click this line to add a new node. And then we're gonna click another right here to add a new node. If you actually hit spacebar, it'll change it into a round node. Um, and so I'm actually gonna create another one. Let's do two. Um, and just work it around for his little hand and that's pretty much it to fix that design. Okay I'm creating two to Tommy's right here just because I want the angles to be just a little bit different So again digitize close shape. We're gonna f actually pick the right one this time and then let's just go ahead and Make it a little bit more curved uh, All right come around his head and again not trying to be perfect Trying to create like a, a more snout for the dog. Come down. And then hit enter. Now we got our, our little dog right here. Oh, select our last object. Let's all again make it white. So for this dog, H, we're gonna make our lines that way. And then for the ghost, let's just angle them up just to create a little bit of a uh, different dimension for those all right so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go and hide both of those see what we're working with so now it's just line work pretty much after this um, we can start with the insides um, digitize close shape let's go ahead and fill actually select our circle let's do the eyes first Enter, O, fill. Let's go ahead and change uh, angle. Let's go ahead and make it black. I'm gonna make it a satin, change those angles. And then control C, control V, that's gonna duplicate it. Hold control, move it on over. We got our two eyeballs. All right, again, circle. Let's do his eyeball now, the dogs. Again, O, hit fill. We're gonna drop it down. Make a satin. Just make it a little bigger. Hit black. Now I got the dog eyeballs. All right, let's go ahead and unhide, select, um, unhide all. Okay. We're actually going to, let's make the border for this first. So we're gonna select this one, 
we're going to again duplicate it select outline let's go ahead and make it black let's go ahead and change it to a satin it's gonna be a small satin let's do like a four zero all right and then for this dog again same thing we're going to select last object by hitting O, change it to an outline, satin, four, zero, and again, change it to black. Um, all right. All right, we're going to select both of these objects right now. And let's go ahead and see what weld does. So now welding will pretty much connect the middle part right there. Oops. All right, so there's our little objects. Let's go ahead and hide that now and pretty much hide everything else. Forgot to lock my image, so I did that. And now <clears throat> let's just go ahead and finish it. So. Let's go ahead and start doing some of the details of the ghost. Go ahead and digitize open shape now. Um, and then let's just do some triple line uh, run. All right. Oh, select black. Let's keep it like that. Okay. And then again, triple run. Let's go ahead and hit black this time so we don't have to keep changing it and then just start adding our line work. Just go around. All right, let's do the hand. And the rest of the leash. And then we'll work on the rest of the sequence after this. We can come back over the top for that and the face. All right. Um, I think I still need to do that part. And that part. Let's go ahead and add another one right there. Actually, let's just go and delete that. All right. Um, last thing we're going to do is just pretty much we're going to do an open shape right here. This part we're going to change to a satin. And let's again change it to about that. Uh, let's do four zero. Change the angle. Okay. Let's go ahead and unhide all. All right, we might want to make these lines a little bigger. So it's easy way to fix that is let's just select all of our line work, hit shift, we can change them to satin and again, just drop them down to about three zero. That makes it look a little bit better. Um, and one thing I do want to do is take this part, move it to the end minus the leash. The leash is probably the only thing, a couple of things that I would save till the end just so it's going over that last stitch. So there's a lot of trims uh, coming through, but um, not much we can do about that. Up here, let's go ahead and hit H. We can go ahead and just move this part in. Um, like that. And there is pretty much your ghost walking a dog and uh, yeah, let's see how it stitches out.
All right, so this design can be thrown on a sweater. You can make into a patch. And after the stitch out, it ended up looking pretty good. Uh, used a Sharpie to clean up some of the white sticking through, but other than that, uh, it looked great.